We're just making sure we're live. There's a commercial before we get going. Mm -hmm. You have to hold in all your curses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here I could get my I could get my vi oh no I can't get my visual aids already because I got a wave. <laughs> Hands free. Okay, we have an ad here, but I don't have. Oh, there we go. I got us. So we're live. Okay. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, friends day. I'm so excited you're here with me in my studio. Also here with me today is Emily. I, I, I gotta <laughs> learn how to do that. <laughs> Also Hello. here with me today is favorite daughter, Emily. Hello. There, that's better. Um, I, sometimes I, I have been struggling with that lately. <laughs> Emily does all the heavy lifting for me. So today we're going to paint B is for bunny. So I found this cute rabbit slash bunny on Unsplash. It's by Gary Bendig. Um, you'll want to download this, this photo. Go get it because you can really see some of the blue and the eyes and stuff. Oh, you don't need to. I'm just moving it because it's really high on your head, but not really high here. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, go get this photo because it'll really help you paint this. And then there's a traceable on my website on AnnieTro.com. Okay, I'm going to grab my phone, and we've been doing this lately, and we're going to fly over to my art table behind me. <laughs> yeah, we're a little, I feel like we're a little more tangled than yeah, a little, we are a usual. Little a little more tangled than usual. I just kind of show my messy little art corner here. <laughs> okay. There. Oh, I always feel bad about the flyover. Oh, yeah. I think I just set it up wrong last time. Mm hmm. Is it about good? It's what pretty you... good. Oops, excuse me. Okay. It's a little, a little off. Okay. We're taped. Great. Thank you so much. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to. Try and move my tape markers up just a little bit. Yeah, it was a lot better this time. So I could scooch this up a little bit. And then the sun's off to the right today, or light source. So that'll help keep me from sliding to the right some too, which will be good. And hopefully, sometimes when I do this, I make a lot of mic noise. Hopefully that isn't hurting anybody's ears. Okay. Let's talk about what's going on here. This is a five by seven inch canvas panel from US Art Supply. I get them on Amazon. I like that they're delivered to my door. I still like Michael's, but this one happens to be from US Art Supply. I painted it with a little bit of, here, I'm kind of pausing here so I can get out, get my paints out. So I use these styrofoam plates quite a bit when I'm painting on my art table because they're smaller and it fits. And plus it fits for YouTube, for the video. Okay, so I used white and yellow oxide. I just squirted a couple of yellow oxide dots on, a couple white one, white dots on, and I painted it with, I think that's a one inch? No, it's a three quarter inch filbert from Royal and Langnickel. And I just, you know, wasn't too worried about it. What I was, what I was doing, just kind of wanted a streaky background. The nice part is it's been dry for a couple days. And then I used my traceable. I scribbled on the back with a new pastel from Prismacolor. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's so dark. Um, they're not as, um, oh, as, um, I can't think of the word right now. They don't leave as many crumbs, as much dust. There, that's the word I'm looking for. And the, the hippie crapper, crapper. <laughs> the hippie crafters are also less, a little less dust. It just means they're harder chalk pastels. <laughs> oh, jeez. That is kind of a, a tongue crapper. twister. Yeah, well, and I'm in your I, brain. I'm warming up my mouth here. I haven't True, really yeah, talked. We... <laughs> Emily just got here a little bit ago, and I haven't really talked to anybody all day. And the other thing I did, which is why I want you to download the reference photo, is because it's so small on the video and the top view. I went ahead and painted the eyes. They're pretty much done. And they don't match the photo exactly, but there's a little bit of blue in those eyes, in case you want to get a screenshot. Oh, yeah, that's crisp. Um, good. Sometimes it, does, it won't focus. Yeah, that's nice and crispy. Um, so you can <clears throat> see what, I, what I've done. And then I just put a little of this in so I wouldn't lose it. And I'm like, oh, stop. Just stop painting, because I was kind of getting into it. <laughs> so my colors. We'll start right here with Mars Black. Titanium white. Let's see, where's my, I think I used this one. 
titanium white. There's the yellow oxide that I already talked about. Burnt umber. And yes, I mix heavy body and, and basics. I love that. Um, I love that about Liquitex that they have both. Their soft body works really great too, mixing. You can mix them. And you can mix other brands together. I put out a little I put out some quinacridone. I don't we're not gonna need much, I don't think. Or any pink you might have. I've got gosh, I've got a couple pinks. Here's another one. I, I didn't put it out, but I've got a medium magenta. Or mix some red and white and make a pink. I always wonder if I say quinacridone, right? Quinacridone. I think I had Google. It sounds about right. Tell me. I think I did. And then I haven't used this color in a long time, cobalt blue, so I just put that one out just for giggles. Use any blue you have. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to get seated. Cuz I always kind of half sit on my wooden stool. <laughs> I do have a little commercial today, Em. Okay. A little commercial. Okay. So you can tell it's soft lighting on this rabbit. But the highlight in this eye, here I'll get closer, is much brighter than that eye. So that's one hint where the light direction is coming from. And then this side of the face is lighter than this side. And then this shoulder has a highlight. So that lets us know our sun's kind of coming from over there. All right. Do I, anybody have any questions? I forget anything. I think I'm going to see if I can get away with this half-inch brush from Michaels. It's Artist Loft. It's fairly new. I like it. It looks new. Yeah. I, well, it's I've not painty. Using it quite a bit. A lot of times I'll just have a, I have like three containers, four containers of brushes sitting behind me. Mm -hmm. Well, I, as it, within the intro you could see there's quite a bit behind me. <laughs> <laughs> it gets, kind of keeps growing. Um, and I'll just have a few sitting on top of my art table. I just keep using the same brushes for quite a while till something I don't know. Well, that's still kind of stuck in the paint. We'll just paint over it. This is a kneaded eraser. Um, I think Generals is a brand you can get. They're like a buck. I like cat hair in it. So you need it to kind of soften it up, and you need it to, when you pick up uh, charcoal or graphite, to kind of blend it into the eraser. Eventually, they get really sticky and stinky. You can just get rid of it. Get another one. Okay. Okay. Where am I going to put my reference photo so I can see it? And then I also pinned the reference photo in the chat. Oh, thanks. So it's the pinned comment if you don't want to go digging for the, um, in the description. Thanks. And let's see here. Today, who's all in the chat today? So a little white, a little burnt umber, and a little yellow oxide was sitting here. I put some white in it. I think I'm just going to paint the ears in. Go ahead, him. Let's see here. We have Cindy. That's too thin. And Suzanne and, oh, I guess we have two Cindy W's. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, tricky. Um, we have Susie, we have Lori and Carol in the chat today. Hey, thanks for joining us. That's so nice of you. And then we have 16 friends. <gasps> awesome. Back. We have friends. That's so exciting. So I had spritzed my palette with some water and I think I... Either had too wet of a brush or I don't know what. So I kind of remixed another puddle and everything's, yeah, we're good. Okay. Is this the second bunny you've ever done? I'm trying to think if I've done one. Bunny butt and bunny head. Oh, yeah. But I think that's it. No, you did like a oh, snowball I did a, looking bunny. Yeah, I, maybe my third because I did a couple. I did um, a complete bunny butt. I think the first one was a bunny laying down. For, and you, from the back side, and I did okay. it small. Mm -hmm. and then but I, I thought there was like a snowball, like a white bunny. Oh, I did a little ornament one for like the library in Nebraska City. Okay. That video? Maybe. Yeah, so maybe this is my fourth. Most of them have been from behind. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have done one front. So after I grabbed that white, I think that's a little too light, but Lori said, at first I thought, how did we jump to R for rabbit? <laughs> I know. You, it's just, you know, time flies, Lori. It just flies so fast. <laughs> B for bunny. B for bunny. It is really a rabbit, but 
Well, he kind of looks bunny-ish. His ears are kind of short and big. There he was like, oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say he kind of looks like this bunny that I keep, I keep seeing with his mom or parent. I don't. I assume it's his mom in the yard in my yard, and he's got the big kind of shorty, fatty ears, and a little head. I like the long ears on this one. Mm-hmm. There was a cute lop-eared bunny photo that I found on Unsplash, but I thought this one actually had more character. Mm-hmm. It was a little bit more interesting to me, so that's why I. So I'm gonna. I'm challenging myself not to use a teeny tiny. Like I would like to go in here. Oh, where's my brush? Hmm. I must have put it away. I'd go in here with like a number one, round simply Simmons, and paint the whole thing. But I'm like, no, we're not doing that. Because I'll get a, a little bit more arty look if I go with a bigger. My reference photo keeps bending forward. <laughs> if I go with a bigger brush. Of course, I'm going to get a little nervous. I'll probably drop down. I already want to drop down and like grab the edge of the ear. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll do this too. That'll make it easier for me. So I was saying to M when she got here, um, her boyfriend, is that what, how you refer to Chase? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I feel like he's my son-in-law. I know. Yeah, he's been around. There needs to be like a, you've been around for so long. Well, I call him Chase Man. Yeah, but you're not like, it's not like we're engaged, but like boyfriend feels like year one, two stage, well, you know? It's not like you're engaged, but really you're married. <laughs> True, yeah. <laughs> Just not legally. Yeah. Um. Anyway, he made some awesome smoked pork mm. and pulled it, so I had a pulled pork sandwich and I had then I got which was free no charge, <laughs> no charge. all those hours of smoking and cooking and all that work and then uh, I also got some watermelon that they had picked up a really good watermelon black a, diamond watermelon oh so good so I had I had the best I ate early today so I had the best meal yeah I think we still have pork I think we still have pork but yeah so I think I put half of it in the freezer because Dad thought it wouldn't be enough for a family meal. Did I say, I don't know if I said last week, but Chase bought himself a smoker for... I think I did. ...birthday <laughs> present. Um, and uh, so on Saturday, or on Friday night, he smoked salmon to test it out because that only takes two hours. And see if we can, if he can figure out how to work it. And it's oh, funny because yeah. I just like... I just stood there for moral support. I guess I did a read the directions aloud, which is really not a good task for him to give me. But, um, so I just stood and watched while he did it and was supportive. And, <laughs> and then um, uh, Saturday, we went from smoking two hours to Chase getting up at 5 a.m. to start smoking two pork butts. That would be like 10 to 12 hours of smoking. And um, we got around to like 3 p.m. I think, and uh, Chase was like, "Okay, like I got up early. I'm gonna take a nap, a quick nap." And I think he took about an hour nap. And the whatever temp he had it had been at when he had gone to take a nap, it was that when he woke up. And it should have been a lot, like climbing a lot faster. Oh, yeah. And then that's when we discovered what a stall is, and. Um, it's basically, I, I, he tried to explain to me, but I think it's basically the meat just stalls at a certain temperature and it won't climb past that until like all the fat is like melted basically. I don't know. But it's something in that's happening in the meat that it's usually in fattier cuts, I guess. Anyway, so uh, what was supposed to be a 10 to 12 hour smoke ended up, let's see here. I think we finally closed it. We were closed up and cleaning it at like 2 a.m. So oh. it was like a 20 hour smoke. Oh, that's why it's so good. Because <laughs> it took so long. That's a long time. That's is It's really good. We're going to make everybody hungry. And really, I, as you're talking, I'm like, oh, we should be talking about Hassenpfeffer, which might be morbid. Oh, yeah. You know, a rabbit yeah. stew or soup or whatever that is. Um, Bab says, I would have loved to see you do his eyes. He's a cutie. I know. I don't know that you'd see it. I know. Yeah. We need that. 
Because it's zoom. They're little. Mm -hmm. I do have a, a video where I painted a really big dog's eye. So you can see layers. You can see all the shapes in the eye. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't link that video in the description if that interests anybody. Well, then I'll put it in the chat. Um, yeah. I'll put it in the chat. I thought about it, and it's like, and the eyes take me quite a while, too. Mm -hmm. I putts with them. I know, maybe that was a mistake, but I'm, no. lear I'm learning to do YouTube. And, I mean, I'm still learning all about painting. and. I, I really set you up just to say the part about the dog video, the dog eye video. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. Uh, if, um, and you've done eyes in other videos, too, like the full videos of things. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm learning how to video and do YouTube. Um, and I also watch artists that I think are better than I am. I also am learning about, I mean, I think art is something you never really get there. Like an athlete can always get better, so can an artist. Yeah, I figured I might, somebody might want to mm -hmm. see it. But I don't know that you can see it. I know, it's a catch-22 with the, the setup we have. It is. I'm getting a little putsy. I probably should just move on here. So really this line is actually a vein in the ear, but I'm just going to kind of make it a line. Okay, let's... So really, maybe what I should have done... I'm going to gray up this ear over here a little bit. Because this ear's in the sun, although in the reference photo, well, here you can see the eyes. If you want to know how to do the eyes, I really recommend this is an awesome photo for eyes. Um, I recommend you get go go to Unsplash. The photo's free. <laughs> um, I might make this ear a little grayer and then maybe make this one a little pinker just to kind of emphasize the sun. Hi, Freckles. <laughs> Do you want to help, help us paint? That's my cat. She's a medium hair torty. Oh, she decided to be quiet. Yeah, she's like, uh, thank you for announcing my presence. That's all I needed. <laughs> Put you on video. That usually makes her go away. It does. Nope, that's me. Oh, maybe not. Just pull a gray in there. And it actually needs... So what's nice about acrylics is you can go dark to light or light to dark. I might end up painting over this. I'm just using the corner of my brush. You could go down to a smaller brush. <laughs> is that right in the mic? No, not yet. I'm, I'm, or I'm unclipping so that I can avoid that. Hey, friend. I'm going to put a little of the white just so I don't forget about it. And then actually a little bit of the white. So I learned to paint eyes by looking at how other artists did it and copying them. Just say, okay, it's brown there, blue there. Um, Tuna Time has really good eyes. Oh, yes, it does. They're cat eyes. So really the eyes are kind of all the same except for maybe the pupils horizontal. Or like with a cat, they're kind of, depending on how open they are, they're oval shape, pear shape, kind of diamond shape. Okay, are we still in frame? Mm -hmm. All right, let's use a little, it's kind of a muddy puddle going. I think the true test of if this bunny turns out is if Jack likes it or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, my, our, he's our resident I finally got it. bunny person. Yeah, uh, my son really likes rabbits. I want him to get one so bad. <laughs> yeah. I have seen them do, like... That's warmer than I want. Extreme zoomies, though, so I get what he means by he wants, like, an entire room for, like, all the rabbit and rabbit things. It'd be so cute. It'd be cute. It'd be so cute. I like that color a little better. So with a lot of things, even with the apple we did last week, brush stroke direction really helps you. There's not a whole lot of 
um, long fur in the ear, but it'll still, it still kind of has, um, here you can kind of see it, like little lines go in that direction, plus these long ones go that direction. That'll help you. Helps make the shape. And my values might be off. I'm right now I'm just getting paint down. <clears throat> you know, I've got a cow eye. I painted a cow eye and ear video. It's old. I mean that's a big eye. And it has blue in it. I don't know if that's oh, a good yeah. I don't know if that's a good one or not. The like half cow face. Yeah, I called it bullseye. It's mm -hmm. a, it, I, I did it with the big rooster. I, I saw the rooster. Um, I don't know if that's a good one or not. It's been such a long time since I've watched it. It has a really big eye in it. <laughs> Bab says, if he cooks, he's a keeper. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I was thinking, um, I don't know what you said that reminded me, but... Um, the turnaround that some people have on your paintings. I mean, I guess I only, like, there could be some people that do the same thing. Um, but I only see it in, like, the the besties page on Facebook. But, like, literally the next day, I think, like, there was a hummingbird after your live. Yeah. Like, the, some of t the turnaround's fast. Like, Faster. some people are up on your videos. Yeah, they're amazing. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, I think, Kathy Brandon. Yeah, her hummingbird. It was, like, I think it was, like, the next day or two days after your video. She'd already done your little hummingbird, and he's so cute. It was cute. I am not that fast. Well, I guess I'm going to be tonight. So it's easier to paint up to an edge. With the apple last live, Emily stopped breathing when I was doing it. <laughs> held, her, held her breath, which was a good reminder, really, because I, it's like, oh, yeah, that's a really normal thing to do. Um, so try talking while you're painting. You can't hold your breath. Um, it'll, it's actually easier. It might seem like it won't be, but it's easier if you try to breathe. Really just don't think about it. Just talk or something while you're or sing. See, I think I want this darker because it's going to be lighter. So that's kind of cute. I'm trying to keep it loose. Actually, I don't like that last little brush stroke I did. I'm going to define the shadow a little better. And then the top of the ear has... I'm just going to hint at some... So what a lot of artists will tell you is like don't go use white just do almost white although I know if I put on a thin white it's not gonna um, like I did on this ear over here it's not gonna be white white and some artists don't ever use straight up white I kinda like to because I wanna oops sorry I'm pulling that off camera I kinda like to get as dark as I can and as light as I can Right now, my biggest concern, I'm going outside the lines because I'm trying to paint this with as big a brush as possible. Um, right now, my um, thought is just get some paint down. That's usually my first objective in any painting, whether I'm doing it live or not. Mm -hmm. Let's get some paint down and then come back and refine it if I want. That didn't really cover. I might um, switch brushes to that number one Simply <laughs> Simmons. Your comfort brush. Well, yeah, it's easier to control a smaller brush for sure. Mm -hmm. I want to cover that. Usually the chalk pastel lifts up, and I waited, gosh, two days before I put my traceable on, but still. Is that the same? Kind Sorry. Of Go ahead. I was going to say, is that the same chalk pastel? Because your apple didn't lift that great either. Yeah, it was this black new pastel. Maybe the, maybe the hippie crafter would have worked a little better. It takes practice and just paying attention to figure all those little little things out. Um, Lori says, I'm glad um, you, uh, you said to talk while painting. I tell my husband. 
or I will tell my husband, you told me to talk. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. I, do. I sing. Um, listen to a podcast or something. Mm -hmm. I found a podcast. I'm not going to remember all their names. It's with Jason Bateman and two other guys. I recognize the guys. Hmm. And they interview people. I found it on iHeart. Well, actually, it's on Apple Podcasts. I think they're everywhere. Hmm. I didn't know Jason Bateman did a podcast. I, I guess I knew he did something for... I think it's Smart Less is the name of it. Oh, okay. I think. Well, I, I think they did during the pandemic. So it's, it's, I think... Oh. I'm not sure. I think it started in 2018. So just some straight up burnt umber. And now I've got this little brush that I'm happy with. Of course, see, it's a lot slower. I got to grab paint. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. No. It's only bad when you don't want to have a five hour live. Which is probably not um, most of your, of the people watching's problem, you know? Yeah. <laughs> is to make sure that their live isn't five hours long. Yeah. I mean, we could, but that just seems a little. I used to dislike watching Bob Ross for the half hour show on PBS when I was a kid. I wanted something jazzier and faster paced. And... So the rabbit isn't this brown, but I kind of like the color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it against the yellow. Yeah, and I like the yellow background to warm it up. Mm -hmm. So now I'm trying to decide. I think I'll paint in the shadows. I'll grab a little black and a little burnt umber. I don't know if that's dark enough. Oh, Joy Lynn um, gave a $5 super chat with a little um, pear guy that says, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> um, look. Oh, thank you so much. That makes me laugh. Yeah, those are so funny. Thank you. Yeah, Chase just puts an emoji, but those are cute. He puts in the goat. Which yeah, is, he does put the goat emoji. Which is funny. Thank you. Thank you so much. I um, I just bought some little easels. I don't have one handy. Little tabletop easels to, oh, yeah, to like set that. paintings in. Mm -hmm. That'll definitely help. I could snatch one for you if you want. Yeah, I don't think. Well, if somebody wants, but I don't. Yeah, they were cute. I like how I like what I like is it doesn't. Um, like sometimes those art easel, the little frame, or the easels you get in the little frame section for photos or something. Mm -hmm. They're kind of bulky. I like how it's light. It doesn't overwhelm the little board painting. Yeah, that is nice. Just painting with the corner of my brush a little bit. You're chiseling out his jaw. A little bit. I, literally, I am. <laughs> yes. I literally am. Prickle is using the edge of the desk as um, neck support. Oh, she's been using my tennis. There's a pair of tennis shoes she's adopted in the other room where I have the elliptical. Mm -hmm. And she just she's puts her paws in them, puts her face on them. It's like a pillow. I think it's so, yeah, she puts her two front paws in, inside the shoes. I think that's so funny. A little bit, we need to pay attention to. I might exaggerate this shadow a little bit. That's kind of cute. Give it a little. I can hear a neighbor person shooting hoops. Now Emily and I are listening and they're not doing it. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't hear it. I, I, as soon as I, I knew as soon as I said something. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of blobbing just to get a little bit more paint on here. Oh, there's her. Oh, I heard it. Yeah. Was it there? Yeah, yep. I heard it. Mm -hmm. I, I bet it's the street behind us. I don't think anybody on our street. Let's put this color over here. They just start out kind of rough. 
you're mapping. Yeah. I like I, that you map. I go back and forth to where I do the eyes, and have them done or not. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I like it because it kind of helps set the tone. And sometimes I'm like, well, I want to see how my, what other colors I use, you know. And I wasn't going to pull out blue because I was trying to use fewer colors. Um, but I really, I could see the blue when I zoomed in on my iPad. I could see the blue in the eyes and the reflection, which does happen quite a bit. So that, oh shoot, we'll put the blue out too. Hi. <laughs> She's been so ooh, ooh, good. Ooh. Ooh. Not bugging us during the lives. Is she doing something scary? Oh, just I, she went for a hug and I was trying to save the mic before it got ruffled with a bunch of fur. Oh. So one thing that happens is acrylic paint shrinks when it dries. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the little teeny dots. There's one there, one there. And it's just my background yellow showing through. You might not be able to see it. Okay. Mm, Tammy said, I love um, um, next week's um crow which but i think it's not next week it's, I think it's the week two after weeks. yeah next think, week's on my easel yeah next week is on the easel good that's two different photos i just put them together in photoshop yeah i like the the moon will be cool behind that yeah it'll be fun i was gonna do a pumpkin i thought no let's do a moon keep it fewer colors mm -hmm. actually i think i want to warm after i made that whole mess there let's grab a little you can use yellow. You can use yellow and put a little brown in it to make a, I never remember the name, yellow oxide. I bought um, Naples Yellow Forever is what I want to say. So I might, um, his fur actually kind of flips out this way, but I still might round him up a little bit. And that might be way too light. Okay, and then let's put in... I'm just holding it with my other finger so it doesn't slide while I paint. Well, that's really yellow. I don't know that that helped me. Well, maybe. It might be cute. Sometimes I don't like things. I'm like, just, just leave it. Let's put a little of that here just in case we like it. Okay, I want kind of a... Oh, we are at 6.33. Oh, okay. I can stop. Oh, I see a cat here. I was making sure there weren't any. They must fall, like fall off of me. I lint rolled my apron. They just float through the sky. They do. She's still shedding bad. I can't believe she's not bald. Okay, I'm gonna kind of. So in the traceable, I've given you shapes. In theory, to make it easier for you, I think my traceables sometimes scare people. You don't have to use everything in the traceable, if that helps you. I'm gonna come back and put in, he's got like little, um, I kinda wanna catch it, that might be too dark. We have 22 friends with us. Oh, thank you so much guys for hanging out with us. If you have any questions, let me know. Any suggestions? Uh, the next one I'm gonna need a suggestion for is D is for I have dog written down because then I just mm -hmm. have something written down. But we've done dog, so it would be. Well, I've done pet thing. portraits, but I don't know. Have I done a? True. You could, you could just do like a cutesy, generic dog. <laughs> Is there such a thing? I don't think. Yeah, I, that that's uh, that felt like um. Would that be an oxymoron? I don't or no? know. But like I could do like a like I did with the cow recently, where I did a cow eye. <laughs> I my mic with her. Oh. Hopefully that wasn't too loud for everybody. Yeah, I could do a close-up so we get an eye-nose type thing on a dog. I don't know. I, I mean, it's okay if it doesn't sell. I always consider that because then I can keep this little business of ours going. Okay, let's just stop. I'm cleaning out my brush just because... If I don't, I just do it out of habit because then I don't ruin too many brushes by forgetting. Okay, so I just wanted to say that on Friday, July 29th, 
little lavender painting with a bee is going to post. I used a thala blue green shade, make kind of an aqua. Well, I went for the aqua sky on this one. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Just an easy little fun painting. And then on Sunday, I don't know if this will fit. Oh, I think it might almost. Sunday, July 31st, a fall landscape. I've got it in a frame. I might take it to the gallery, one of the galleries this Friday. I can almost get it in. Mm -hmm. So those are two videos coming up. And then I want to thank Lori M. I think she's here tonight. Is she? Well, at least I saw her earlier. Thank you. Thank you for sending money through PayPal. Just, I, I just, I wish I knew what to say because I just appreciate it so much. Um, thank you so much, Lori M. Okay, that's all my announcements. D is for doorknob. Doorknob. <laughs> we could paint a doorknob. D is for <laughs> drugs. Drugs. D is for um duck. You kind of done ducks. A duck. N um, I did a baby chick. I don't know if I've done a duck. Lori says wiener dog. Lori M says wiener dog. <laughs> That'd be cute. Oh, the dachshund. That's it's also dachshund. a, yeah. Yeah. She says, you're welcome. Thanks for traceables. Oh, thank you. Um, this has been a lot of fun for me. A dachshund would be cute. Dragonfly. Okay. Have you ever done a dragonfly? Not a for real one, really. No. Duck. A dachshund would be like a double D. Suzanne says donkey. Oh, we should have oh, saved yeah. the donkey. I already did the donkey. I mean, I could do another one. You could. You could. Gosh, all I could think of was dog. We could do... I, doesn't um, Bonita have a guard donkey? We could... <laughs> I heard somebody else... Or was it when we were watching um, Yellowstone, they said the donkey... That, that it's mean or something? Or that it's... Guard the farm. Maybe. I think it was on Yellowstone. I think it was, too. I'm just kind of dabbing in the direction, like the fur around the nose is going to go towards the left. Just kind of a little dab will do you. Lori says, um, but I like duck better. I don't know if I've done a duck. You've done the, like the geese. That's as close, is that as close to a duck? You could do a mallard duck, then you'd have a pretty green head. Yeah, would you write down... Duck and dachshund. And but dachshunds are pretty trendy right now. I think they're snubbing out the corgi. Oh, really? I don't know if it's that much, but I know quite a few people that are trying to get dachshunds and stuff. I need to sell my corgi paint, but painting then. Oh, it's a guard goose. Gilbert the guard goose. <laughs> oh, yeah, the one I called Lucy Goosey, and then I sold it as no nosy neighbor. It's a guard goose. That'd be a good G. But he's also a good doorbell. He just quacks. Mm. Oh, too much water Ooh, tonight. a deer. Bonita said a deer. Oh, a deer. That's a great okay. idea. Let's see. Deer. I need to start writing. I'm reading and not writing. This will just depend on the reference photo I can find. and Yeah. We don't want something horribly complicated for a live. Those are pretty much the deciding factors, not anything else. I appreciate great suggestions, you guys. You make it... Make it easier for me. One less thing to worry about. How do you spell docs and dog? Oh, I'll know. Son. I'll know. <laughs> I think I'm not too far off. But let's see, dog. So I'm kind of just putting in some darks with the corner of my brush. The fun part will be the whiskers. Ooh, a doe. Ooh, a doe. Is a deer. A female, a female deer. deer. Yeah. Yep. You could do a doe deer. So one thing about doing this is then you kind of find your landmarks too, mm -hmm. which hopefully will make this a little quicker. Grabbing some black. Oh, Freckles is back sort of in her timeout spot now. Yeah. She jumped off my lap and 
She feels safe back in there. Mm -hmm. mm, Bab says a baby deer. That'd be cute. I will definitely look. Well, and this, I mean, this is helping me do a little bit different things because, you know, cows, flowers. Yeah. <laughs> I did do an alpaca. It's kind of, it's like a, a fun prompt. It is. But I'm also trying to, I'm just going to do them for the lives to keep them mm -hmm. beginner friendly. That too. Tammy, Tammy says donkey with three hearts. <laughs> Donkeys are cute. I like the... I remember when we got off that live, you were like, I don't know if I like all this color I put in that donkey. I loved that donkey. It sold, too. And it sold, like, right away, right? Um, pretty quick. Not right away, but pretty quick. You never know. You... I mean, I know, well, I know, like, dog breeds are tough. Dogs are tough because people want their breed, and they, and then they even want their dog. Yes, I yes. I pretty much just do dog pet portraits because otherwise they don't want it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not my, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. scooter or... Whatever dog name. Scooter's actually more of a rabbit name, maybe. Yeah. Chase popped in with his nine ninety nine and his goat emoji. Oh, Chase, man. Thank you. Thank you. I had a delicious dinner tonight. Thank you. <laughs> more more pork and more uh, watermelon. It was awesome. I ate early like an old person. Probably shouldn't say that. Mm -mm. There's nothing wrong with eating early. Being old? <laughs> that too. <laughs> Yeah, I left out that part. I left out that part. Um, you were so nice to me the other day. You're like, what? How old are you? Like 60? <laughs> and I'm like, 58. <laughs> but I thought that was so nice. You went a little young, just like I do with kids. Mm -hmm. you know, I always go a little, if they're young, you go a little older because they think, oh, I'm cool. I look yeah, older. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. I appreciate that you did basically the kid thing to me. Okay, I'm putzing because I'm talking. Um, Susie, oh sorry, what were Go you ahead. saying? Uh -uh. Okay, Susie says, deer, donkey, and ducks are all great subjects. We'll be happy to see any of them. We might have to do the alphabet twice. I mean, we won't, like, bore you guys to tears with it. <laughs> um, Tammy says, G needs to be a goat, uh, just the, but the emoji, the, the, always the emoji that Chase always uses, for sure. Oh, I've done, <laughs> a, yeah, I've done a couple goats. And you can name it Chase. We can name it Chase. And that's a good name for a goat. Yeah. Um, I've done a Nubian goat. I think it has a traceable. I did another one. I can't. It's not coming to me. I think I did another one. Maybe I just did one. I only know the one. I'm picturing your donkey and your goat. The Nubian goat was a request. M might need to be macaw so I can get that request done at the same time. What? Oh, when we get to M, we should maybe do a macaw bird. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. So we can get the request in, too. Let's see here. I'm just painting with the corner of my brush because I think it's funny. I'm trying to use a bigger brush so I'm faster and looser. <laughs> I just move to the corner of it. I think I'm going to want, I think I'm going to want, here, I'm going to put in some white so I can see the value. So I'm going to switch to my trusty number one round from Simply Simmons. She said, Tam Tam, that's the best idea I've ever heard. <laughs> poor Tammy has a nickname whether she wants one. Well, just like poor Chase. I mean, he, he yeah, not... yeah, people get nicknames. In this family, people get nicknames whether they like it or not. Yeah, I mean, Chase did not get to pick Chase, man. I just keep doing it to him. And then um, Lori said, a goat with glasses. That'd be cute. That would be cute. Just like your... Um, the alpaca. The alpaca. Mm -hmm. And then just Chase wear glasses. He wears sometimes occasional glasses. Yeah. yeah, he mostly wears contacts. But yes, he has the need for glasses. He's like the O on the the license. <laughs> oh, like designation means you, you need glasses. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, what? I think it, I think that's a what do they call that? An O. I don't know. Restricted. Mm hmm. That'd be R. Only on Tuesdays does Chase wear glasses, is what he said. <laughs> you know, I want to kind of, this might be scary. I kind of want to bring this in just a little and down. And I did it. I don't know if you can even tell the difference. I like so, his little chest puff. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, they nice, but I have some white there. I can tell if I want to go darker or lighter. So I think I'm going to mix. Oh, it already dried on me. I put out, I tried to, well, I didn't always, but like the black, the white, the um, yellow oxide, I put out a healthy squirt because I have fans blowing. It's just, then I can kind of poke in there, even if it skins over on the top. I keep mixing the same color because I'm talking. Um, that can help. I mean, sometimes you kind of want to save paint, save money. I get that. You do what works for you. So I'm, I'm creeping. Oops, sorry. I'm creeping out just to try and get a lighter gray. There we go. And I wasn't really getting it. Um, Lori says, okay, is Chase favorite son? N um, no, Jack, Jackson, Jack is favorite son, and Chase is, uh, Chase is my boyfriend. But he comes to every single live. <laughs> Favorite son-in-law? Favorite son-in-law, yeah. See, I don't even like that. That's why I like Chase Man. Chase Man. I feel like he's mine. He's not anybody else's. He's mine. <laughs> he's one of my kids. His mom can't have him. I wish Lori. <laughs> Chase said that he <laughs> wishes with a sad face. Aw. Yeah, after Chase started um, cooking and baking, Chase really climbed up that ladder real fast. Oh, you're saying he was all, like, transactional and <laughs> the love I have for him? It just seems a little fish. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I can't remember not liking Chase, man. I feel like everybody likes him. Like he'd been a great school teacher. Mm-hmm. All the parents. He could have, he could have done the dance. The parents and the, and the students would have liked him. Mm-hmm. That's a tough thing. And the and the faculty. That can be kind of a tough thing to do. Okay, I'm getting into the minutiae because that's what I like. Let's move on a little faster here. This is more for me than you guys. You do not have to speed paint. That was coming together a little bit. Do I want to do anything where I've got this brush handy and some of the colors handy? Where else could it go? That would be more efficient. Let's paint some values. If you wanted, you could do like I've done some other paintings where you just paint this in a brown. Instead of grayscale, paint it in browns. Take your burnt umber and then add some color, kind of like we did with the cat. Then add some color in afterwards, glaze color on top. Kind of like I, I did with the sunflower cow. It's exactly what I did with the sunflower cow. What well, might be kind of fun, let's mix some. Let's take some yellow oxide. It's probably way too much. And some white. Let's mix kind of a creamy yellow. So what I'm thinking is warm, warm side, can't really tell yet, warm side and then cool side because my son's over here. So instead of white, let's paint a creamy color. <laughs> Flory says, um, oh, you go, Chase. Only Emily can make that happen. Other favorite son. <laughs> Um, Carolyn says, I love the bunny. He has, um, has the look like I see you, but you can't see me. Surprise. He's a, <laughs> got a little grumpy face going too, but it's yeah. still cute. The eyes are so good. I did it because of the eyes and the ears. Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be a great one for you guys. I'd make, I did a traceable to help you with the drawing if you like that sort of thing. I just thought it'd be a really a good one to paint. I was going to say practice, but every time you paint, you're practicing, so. Then I'm going to grab a little of this yellow and just kind of pull it across. I haven't talked about that in a while. So you don't have, like I don't have straight down the middle, warm, cool. So just throw a little warms over the gray. Mm. Bab says yes on the macaw. She has two. Oh, maybe it was her that requested them. 
I don't write down the names. I just, because I have a decent sized list, I just write down what I'm supposed to, you know, try and find photos for. I believe it was a blue and yellow or green. I'm not sure exactly how they describe those. It was that color combo mm -hmm. one that the person wanted. Maybe I'll just go. Is that in frame? I hope that's in frame. I believe so. Yeah, I think so, your too. Your whole paint palette's in frame. If that's well, and I kind about. of got more in the middle, which hopefully helps. Um, Bonita says, I have a baby bunny that lives in my vegetable garden. It scares me silly when he leaps and takes off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet he eats good in your vegetable garden. Yeah. We have lots of bunnies. When we moved in, our neighbors um, said that if we ever... Like, if we wanted a garden, we're going to have to put up, like, major fencing around it just to keep the bunnies out. And I and I think we have three living in our backyard. Like, maybe three. Well, there's three different holes, so I don't know, like, how many bunny per hole. But, or if they all have the, if they dig multiple holes, I don't really know. We have lots of bunnies. Are the holes just for having babies and then they're done? I get it. I Are know. they hiding holes? Where do they holes? sleep, then? They sleep in the holes, don't they? I don't know anything about wild rabbits. We have a ton too this year. We don't have hardly any flowers around the back trees. Dad put out, you know, the stuff, pepper, the stuff, yeah, stuff to, the stink stuff, but it didn't seem to stop them. <laughs> now they like spice. Is what's gonna happen? Yeah, used to pepper. <laughs> yeah. I might make his nose a little stand out -y, but mostly I'm just trying to cover the, my um, um, chalk pastel there. Mm. Have you, I guess you, never mind, you go grocery shopping tomorrow. I was going to say, have, have you noticed an Oreo shortage? No, I, don't, I haven't bought them in a long time. I don't buy them very often. Because Chase wanted to make Oreo ice cream, and there was no plain, like normal, like whether it was double stuff, like normal stuff. Um, plain like Oreos at um, Target that we went to. The shelves where I shop are just, you know, like if I, I kind of have a, a huge, I have a decent sized list of like, oh, they have this, let's just buy it because mm -hmm. I might not see it again. Um, the shelves just get emptier, really. It just doesn't scare me like it did at the beginning of the pandemic. It was really unnerving. Mm hmm. Cause then, um, but then I got smart and I thought about how they do like those little snack packs of Oreos. Oh yeah. They were gone, but I found little snack cups and, um, I put one in the cart and Chase was like, well, we're going to need like three or four. And there were exactly three. And then we found the fourth at, um, a checkout, at a checkout. register. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. It is hard to find some things. This is a little dirty white. So what you should do after you clean off your brush is really wipe it off so you don't drip water down into your painting. I'm bad about doing that. Mm. Bonita says, I have a gigantic seven foot tall fence around my garden to keep the deer. Yeah, bunnies are not your, not your biggest worry to keep the deer out. Yeah. They destroy everything. Yeah. Yeah, a little bunny snacking is nothing compared to deer. Deer chomping. Mm-hmm. So you could paint it like this and be done. A lot of times I'll go back and refine everything, but let's get a little screenshot so you can kind of see. Value is more important than the color. Value means light or dark. So I'm just kind of defining that side of that nose a little bit with a little darker color. I know what I'm going to love best is like the eyelashes and the whiskers. I put one whisker in for fun. Oh, and I'm little brushing it. I just realized. <laughs> now let's, as long as we're little brushing it, I think I was doing that because I was going to paint um, like the mouth.
And if you do like all cool on one side and all warm on one side, your second layer you can go back and adjust. You don't have to remember everything all at once while you're painting. That's just, just way too hard. I kind of want this to come over and this to stop short here. I'm looking at the reference photo. It's cute. I'm going to grab some brown just so I don't forget that I want that little triangle in there. Hi, Freckles. You coming back? Do I need to kind of even out his chin a little bit? Sometimes I kind of... I wanted to exaggerate the square. It's pretty square, even though I was trying to exaggerate it. It's pretty darn square. So this little teeny strokes up and down. And I don't think you guys can see this very well. Let me know in the comments or let Emily know in the, the chat. Yeah, it's a little tiny, but. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't think you'll be able to see me. But you can see the color change. Do the eyes. I'm going to grab a straight up white. Let's see. Am I in camera? Mm hmm. You are. Or in frame? Yeah. Um, Lori says, yes, I thought my peppers would be safe from the deer. They were smarter than me because they ate the plant before the peppers grew. Yeah, we don't have, deer no, are not a problem where we live. We used to have them around um, not too far from here, but now it's all developed. Yeah. And even, um. We're kind of midtown anymore. Mm-hmm. Well, and we're, it's kind of like growing every direction around us, too. Yeah. So, even if you, uh, what Oops. direction would that be? Further north? North um, is towards your house. Yeah, further north is, you know, le I see less deer when I'm out that way. Oh, yeah, you would. And then even if you go further west, which would be where I remember a lot of deer being, um, I don't see them as much anymore. Nah, we keep pushing them away. Yeah, we're going to eventually pinch them between here and Lincoln. I know. I mean, I'm not against home building or anything, but I'm like, I feel bad for the animals too. Mm -hmm. Although I, I kind of like it they're not so close to us anymore because it, oh, I don't know what time of year. Would it be early, early, early spring? You had to be careful. Oh, yeah. Because they'd dart out in front of you. I took, um. They used to be around your high school back in the I day. I know, yeah. That's all getting developed though. Um, they, uh, so where I took my driver's ed class was, like, super, not super, oh, like, yeah. out in the country, but, like, it was definitely more farmland and less developed, and, um, I, did I do it during the school year or during the summer? Probably, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I remember my actual, like, when you would go driving for the lesson, for some reason, it was at night. I don't know if it was because I did during the week and I had school for the extra lessons you had to sign up for that aren't on, um, like, Saturday all-day class days. Yeah, and I um, so since they were out there, we drove out there, and I uh, literally a deer ran right in front of <laughs> in front of the car. Oh, and you're just a new driver. And I'm like, no, no, no. He's probably glad you were driving and not the one that had no experience. Yeah. That's scary for you. Yeah. I, I keep, the only, the only thing I'm doing here is I just don't like the values. I keep kind of mucking with them. And really, it's not that big a deal. I really just need to get some color down. Kind of overlap a little bit. Try to be random. Just kind of making a mud color. If I want it cooler, oh, that's going to be strong. Mm. Bab said, yes, uh, yes, I did. The blue and the gold. Oh, okay. Yep, I won't, I don't, I don't know how long it'll take, because I... Because we've got to get to M. Well, yeah, and I get, if I get a pet portrait commission, that, that gets, you know, that gets put up ahead of things. And mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty much to take, pretty much ready to take new art to the gallery on Friday. So that helps. You got a lot of new... I don't have a lot of new big ones, but no. I'm like, I need to sell some big ones before I 
I mean, I might paint a big one, but I'm going to pretty much focus on little ones now for a while until I sell some more big ones. I sold a really big one, but I need to sell a couple more. I just kind of look at my reference photo and play a little bit. It's You don't have to... You're not going to show anybody the reference photo, so you don't have to be too worried about how it looks. There, that might be a better color for in here. There we go. He looks so sweet. Thanks. I have a feeling I'm going too slow. It's seven, so you have 30 minutes left in our normal time slot. Oh, it feels like I'm going too slow. It just looks sweet. The eyes are great. So, like, you can change the shape of that shadow by cutting into it, mm -hmm. which is fun and fixable. I mean, we can go over, too. I'm just trying not to, mm -hmm. to putz too much. People can come back and watch the rest of it later, however, however you like to watch it. I lost my mud pile for a second there. I was thinking about something else. It's how you paint fur. It's kind of how I paint grass. Um, you can make shorter strokes. You can always come back with shorter strokes in another layer. Um, Lori said, my family lives in a small um, Oklahoma town, and a deer jumped into my daughter's driver's side window, and the horns scratched her, and unfortunately, the deer's body folded and crashed the windshield, or and crashed the windshield? Ew. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I would never drive again. <laughs> no. Oh. I remember when I was little, and oh. you, we picked Jack up from school, and a car like pulled out in front of you, and so you, well, I wasn't that little. I, that sounds like I'm really little, and you're letting me sit in the front seat early. I was, you know, I was well into elementary school. Middle but school, probably. <laughs> you're only four years. in middle years, school, and I refused to sit in the front seat after that happened. Oh, that's for right. For like a year. <laughs> that's right, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, Lori, that's insane though. I assume she's okay. Everything is okay. Yeah, deer do funny things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, if you take like the, what would that be? Is that, I don't know if that's the highway or the interstate or the, what the, whatever the difference is, but out by the old airport um, yeah, on look. the way to like Bellevue, I've driven out there and I've seen a deer just like stop in the middle of the road and you go like 60 miles an hour, 65 miles an hour on it. Oh, that's, that's a freeway or a highway. And I'm just like, geez. We gotta quit talking about it. It's gonna happen to somebody. I know. No deer. All the deer will stay on the sides of the know roads. What makes them do that. Of course I don't know how you know anyway. I'm waving my hands so that the deer don't. Nobody sees deer while driving. Yeah. Oh, freckles, you sound so sad. I don't she does sound hear. sad. She can't settle. Um, that's really not her saddest. She can go way oh, sad. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go drop down. Oh, he's starting to look cute. Mm -hmm. He's starting to get some shape. He looks sweet. So I'm hunting for kind of a warm gray. Even though you could paint it just straight up gray. Um, based on the reference photo. Lori's taking back the D, the deer for the D. Oh, did we make her feel bad? <laughs> I didn't mean to make you feel bad. <laughs> oh, that's what I don't like about the lives. I say dumb stuff. <laughs> she just said, oops, no deer for D. Just kidding. <laughs> Aw. But it would be cute to paint. We should do No, I, that's a good idea. It's cute. I am. Um, just no deers while driving. No deers while driving. Yeah. That's it. That's not, that's what's not allowed. 
A deer ran into my driver. What's with deer running into cars? A deer ran they into do it my, all the time. my driver's door a couple months ago. Oh. Messed up my Jeep pretty good and killed the deer, but I was unharmed. Oh, Tammy. I know. I, they, I don't know. I don't know what, why they, I don't know why they do that. They spook me. Mm-hmm. They spook me because they do that. I don't know if they just think they're fast enough and they can get across, or they must. Well, you think the ones that were, used to be around your high school would totally know about traffic. Yeah. I mean, you learn the hard way, but it's harsh. That's so interesting. I'm just going to mm -hmm. put a couple little black flecks and see what I, ooh, I don't like those. See what I think. It's a little bit too much detail right now, I think. I think I'll just stop that idea. I pulled out a couple of little whiskers, which is cute. It might not be light enough. It dries so fast to me, I'm just mixed right on top of all that, those funny puddles. Okay, so like right here, it's hard to tell where Rabbit face stops. Mm-hmm. And his little neck. So there I made it too much. So now I'm going to come back with a little darker. I don't know. I'm going to put it all back in. I didn't really want to do that. I think I need to let it dry and then try again. And then I kind of want... I don't, just so I don't forget, I grabbed a little white. I'm going to put that back in there. Little jowl lips hanging over. Mm-hmm. Kind of put one here, too. A little, would it be a bunny muzzle? <laughs> yeah, I suppose a it is. A bunny muzzle? I suppose it is. Unless that's like just on dogs or like lions and things. I don't know what else would have like a muzzle. Tigers and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Tammy says, got to go. Supper is ready and hubby, hubby is hangry. <laughs> Thanks Bye, for coming. Mm, Lori says, um, there's a bunch um, where she lives. And she had one run across the road at night. And she shut her eyes and braked into it. When she opened them, it, he was looking at the window. Or she, and she looked out her window. The deer was staring back at her. And he just took off. Jeez. Yeah, no deer ages ago, on the road. Yeah, ages ago when we lived in Minnesota, it was such a problem. Minnesota. 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 Mm -hmm. for, a, for a while after I moved to, I'm born and raised in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nebraska, I gotta get that A, that A in it. <laughs> um, but when I came back, really, I had long O's. You know, I didn't realize it. But I'm like, people are like, oh, you from Minnesota? I'm like, well, not really. <laughs> I just lived there for 10 years. Down, I say down. They were a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there used to be a sign um, when I was in my second apartment and I would drive to Chase's. The road I would take was, it wasn't like out there, but there was still like farmland around it. I guess there still is, like there's a pumpkin, like a place where they grow pumpkins and stuff. So there are quite a bit of deer, so they would always put one up. Like they would flip the sign up during the season. Oh. Kind of like that, like the icy bridge sign that they'll flip down. Right. They'd like flip it up when like deer season comes. Huh. My birds, I'm Australian. But I only ever saw a fox, which they actually were kind of cute. They are kind of cute. That's, I have a, I don't, I think I have F for fox. Oh, that would be cute. I've seen, I've got a couple already saved. I think I do. I'm going to grab um, a little clean water and just kind of cut it into my burnt umber. As I mentioned, it could actually make it dry faster. It works for a little bit, and then it can bite you. Did I read this in my head or I read it aloud? Timmy says, loving the bunny, I will finish, wa uh, will finish watching later. I think I just read that in my head and I didn't tell you. <laughs> I'm not totally sure. That's not the same person who went to have dinner. Yes. Oh, it is? That's Tammy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tammy yeah. went to have dinner. Because her, husband, her husband's hangry. Yeah, okay. She'll finish watching the bunny later. 
I think what people do, and I don't know, you guys, if you want, can let me know. Because if they're watching six minutes, they might be watching, like, part of the beginning, part mm -hmm. of the middle. Mm -hmm. You know, get a screenshot. I mean, I would do that. I don't know that I need to. Some people want to see every stroke, but really you'll learn faster if you just try to copy something and try to piece it out. Because every artist does it different, and I'll do it different every time, which will drive you nuts. You know? Mm -hmm. um, just practice and try to copy things. And, it, I mean, you don't have to do it that way if you don't like it, of course. That's just my suggestion. And I get wanting to see every stroke because you're nervous, don't know what to do, hard to start. All those things happen. Those ha things can happen to me. So I'm doing little dry brushing hair just because I like it. Don't want to do too many. Okay, we kind of need stuff on the top. I don't know that an artist, artist, traditional artist would call this underpainting. I kind of do a combo. Yeah, I don't know if that yeah. would be. I don't think they'd call it. Or block. It's not. It, I mean, really, in my mind, it's kind of blocking in, but I'm finding so many details. Yeah. It's too, too detailed for a tradi traditional block in. Mm -hmm. mm. Partly because I'm using a traceable, too. I don't really need to block yeah. it in. Lori says, being an army, army family, every time we moved, um, some people say, hey, y'all, or hey, you guys. Um, boy, we would get laughed at if we would say the wrong saying where we moved to. Oh, really? Huh. Dialect, you can... I, I, what I suppose. I, I, I wouldn't laugh. Well, yeah, I wouldn't laugh. But I've heard um, you can tell where someone is from based on what they call, like, um, what they call pop. Midwestern people call it pop. Um, yeah, do you want a soda, pop? if you just straight up call it a Coke, if you, um, I don't know if there's any others. It was soda in Minnesota. Soda. But I've heard that that's also a way to tell where people come from, aside from like the y'all and the, Hot if you dish, say y'all or not. Casserole. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bubbler. I had a roommate in college that called drinking fountains bubblers. She's from Wisconsin. I don't know if that was actually just her or Wisconsin. <laughs> Never heard of bubblers before call my college days. I just have some warm in my brush and it occurred to me to throw in a little a few worms over on the left. Mm. And crawfish or crawdads. They're the same thing. That's what Lori says. Um is that the movie that's out right now where the crawfish sing? Where the crawdads sing. Crawdads. <laughs> oh, a friend of mine said that was a really good book. Another friend of, my, friend of mine went to go see it. I'll have to see what she thought. Let's see. What am I doing here, guys? Um, painting the bunny. Painting the bun bun. He's got a little bald spot on his forehead. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I just kind of forgot. One thing nice about having the gold underneath, you could let it peek through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't feel like you're um, seeing canvas underneath there. No, and I do it. Sometimes I paint around it. Um, sometimes it's just I want to mix it up for entertainment value for myself. Mm-hmm. It's the only reason why. Lori heard it was a must-see. Oh, yeah. They must have followed the book pretty well. Because if it's a really good book, people would get upset if they don't. Mm-hmm. If they don't follow it well. Yeah. There, that helps him a little bit. I'm just... And you don't have to follow his fur pattern completely, or you can. Um, some people really like that. With a pet portrait, I'd be much more careful about the markings. With a rabbit portrait, I haven't done a... I've done... Well, I've done... Oh, marshmallow. I forgot I painted that. That's what I was saying. Yeah, the white I, guy. Oh, you said it, but it didn't click in my head. The I've, little white bunny. I've painted a handful of rabbits. Mm-hmm. 
forgot about marshmallow. So now this gets to be the fun part. You can kind of just play with layers and brush strokes and once you get some some stuff going on. Ooh, I I mean it's one of those books that I've always just heard but I've never actually read. Bonita said um, was a great book. I've but, heard that. So I read the, I googled it and I found the, oh is that the movie synopsis? It's got to be about the same. But it says, abandoned as a girl, Kaya raced uh, herself in, a, in the dangerous marshland of North Carolina. For years, rumors of the marsh girl haunted uh, Barkley Cove, isolating the sharp and resilient Kaya from her community. Drawn to two young men from town, she opens herself to a new, to a new and startling world. However, when one of them <laughs> is found, what? <laughs> Just, no, you're reading it really well, but it's very dramatic. However, well, yeah, when one of them is found dead, Kaya immediately oh. becomes the main suspect. The case unfolds. Oh. The verdict as to what happens becomes increasingly unclear, threatening to reveal many secrets. That does sound good. Mm -hmm. Kind of sounds like Nicholas Sparks a little bit. The, uh, the author. Well, we ought to go see that. We ought to listen to the, get the audio book, pay for an audio subscription someplace. Oh, I suppose Amazon, huh? Yeah, you, uh, yeah, because I bet you could just get it through. I think Amazon owns Kindle, so. I don't have a Kindle, but I don't need. Well, one but do um, I. you can do like the audio books through Kindle, I believe. Um, Matt says, Ben hey, Matt. Lustin How Hower says, block in like you're not going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you know, you'll figure out what you like, and what, of course, I'm, it's going to change, too, as I learn other things and try other things, get faster, you know, I won't be painting like this anymore, you know. If you want to skip straight to the movie, I'd watch the movie with you. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> it's a date. I have a date. I'm excited. Oh. I have an outing, you guys. Um, the main actress in that, um, she looks, I've seen, um, things online where it's like if Anne Hathaway and somebody, like, had a child, it looks like, like, she looks so much like Anne Hathaway. Oh. Big brown eyes? Yeah. That, to me, that's Anne Hathaway's, those big brown eyes. Same, like, um, face shape. I watched her eyes and face Sorry. shape. Sorry. No. What? I, wa I can't think of the name of it, because I, I have so many subscriptions now. I watched her in something. It was like a startup sh uh, short series. Hmm. It's pretty good. Oh, dang. I can't think. Dang. I just said dang. I can't think what it's called. You're laughing because it's hardly a bad word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Dakota Johnson and Anne Hathaway. They think, like, people say that she looks like a combination of both of them a lot. Hmm. I'm just kind of beating some brown in here. You <laughs> just, are. <laughs> just, uh... <laughs> Just to get coverage, just to kind of get a, a color change. Okay, do we have, we have paint everywhere. Screenshot. Could call it done. Go okay. eat dinner depending on where you are in the world. Have breakfast. That pink on the end of the nose to me is a little harsh, but you could totally do it. Okay, so what we, what I think I want to do next I have nine minutes left technically, but I think mm -hmm. we'll go over. Um, I think I want to, are we all in? The sun over there really helps keep me from sliding right. That's working better today, I think. Is to grab some yellow and my whole plate, oh, there's a delay. I think my whole plate stays in frame. Yep. Okay, so quinacridone magenta is strong. So I'm gonna go really be really scared with it and see what this does. Boy. Well, sometimes as you mix, that quinacridone magenta is pretty strong. Okay. It would be easier if I had a flat plate. Oh good, the air conditioning is popping on. That's right, the vent's right by me. Emily has the hottest spot in this little studio. Yeah. This I, is her old bedroom that we're in. My cheeks feel bright red. Yeah, it was getting pretty warm when you got here. 
I'm thinking of making kind of a warm pinky color. Like my cheeks. Like Emily's <laughs> cheeks. And that actually might do the trick as she goes for one more. Here, if I do this, it'd be easier to mix. Gonna, gonna tack it a little better. Boy, that is a dirty palette knife. Oh yeah, my mm -hmm. hands are getting red. Gosh, it's not, when I get it over there, it's not as pinky as it looks. And I don't have to get it exact. I just didn't want to use straight up quinacridone. Let's go with that. Let's see what we think. Because I can overthink it to death. If Freckles is facing my chalk wall. I know, I keep turning around and checking on her. I, did, I just Looking did. Looking at her. Um, we could use some glazing medium. I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to get my brush wet, maybe just stick the end of it in the water. Because I've got two nice, good layers of paint on here. Let's just see what happens when we warm this ear up a little bit. Let's see if we like that. So I'm basically painting grass. We've watched it in my grass video. Oh, I like the the pink ear, orange ear, ear. Yeah, I think so too. And I think mm -hmm. we'd glaze some maybe here, like the sun's catching. My son's over here. He's got his glasses on. That might not show much. We could maybe pop a little. That's not showing much either. I wonder if it's running out of my brush or it's too watery. This is where it starts to get fun. Mm -hmm. Play with colors. Play with brush strokes. Mm. Lori said. I think that works. Emily, don't you have an Etsy? If so, how do we go see? <laughs> Lori's well, spoiling us today. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little on the nose, even there isn't, even though there isn't any. I'm gonna just kind of. Oops, I broke that fingernail. I'm gonna kind of smear it. Oh, that's kind of cute. And then do we want to put it one more place? There. What do we think? I'm thinking cute. I'm thinking cute, too. I'm going to soften some of those brush strokes. They're kind of bugging me. All right. I like that he brought it down to his chest. Kind of help you. I mean, it's a portrait, so you don't have to worry about the design. But I do that because it's kind of like, okay, you know, three places. Actually, I put it on the nose, too. What I'm thinking I might want to do is um, put a little bit right there to kind of change that. What we could do, of course, this might be too soon, and I might paint it out. But in case we stop, I want to do a few things. Mm -hmm. We could give him a little blush. That might be way too much. We might have to, may have to paint that out. It'll actually make me kind of fun. Okay. I can further plug my Etsy by saying if you oh, want to Oh, I forgot match, about plugging Emily. I went if right. If <laughs> you want to match An uh, Annie's oh. earrings right now. She, um, I, I, I have made palette her, earrings on. Yeah, I made her little paint palette earrings for either your Mother's Day or your birthday, and then I thought they were too cute, so I put them, I put them in my shop. Suzanne says, he's a real cutie. Yeah, he's getting cuter, add a little color to it. Yeah, I like, that helped a lot. Right, I like so, that. So what's going to help, too, let's just, I wouldn't, I would probably put more detail on and then do this. Um, it's not wrong to do it now. I'm going to gra actually grab a little of this white. So my paint's popping a little bit. So I'm just going to come back with some little fur. You gave him some blush. I like it. I did. Do we, is it too much? No. Or, oh, okay, because I just painted it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. I like what you're, I like what you're doing. 
Oh, I don't know if you can even see it yet with the delay. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now we've got some pinkies and some warms. Um, I did pull the little warm over here, which is good. So you don't have that dividing line I talked about, because it's real easy just to think, okay, warm on the right, cool on the left. But what if you grab some water? I really don't paint with this much. Cobalt blue hue. So I'm just getting some in my brush and kind of scrubbing it just kind of to get it in there. Now I think I have too much. So I'm going to offload a little on my paper towel. So let's... We've already got grays and browns, so this should be a pretty muted blue without us doing anything because of the layers underneath. You could tuck a little blue up mm. here for a shadow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Suzanne says, I have uh, a pair of those earrings also. I love them. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I shipped, I also shipped to Canada because of Suzanne. <laughs> my, my online store ships to Canada, but I don't ship from here to Canada. I probably could, because it'll, pirate ship will figure the shipping, won't it? Yeah, I, that's where I, I did it through. Um, oh wait, did I? I think I have to do it through, Oh. Um, at, uh, you can do it through pirate ship. It'll tell you the, I checked, it'll tell you in, like all the custom and ask for the custom information and all that jazz, but I do it through Etsy because I, um, uh, Etsy likes you better if you do free shipping. So to cover my cost of shipping is in the earrings. But like, even though my earrings, if I ship them, it's mm, like two ounces, it still adds like $10 oh. um, to shipping to get it to an extra $10 or some more to get it to Canada. That's frustrating. So I, yeah, so I... Uh, that must be customs or something that's... Making it it's got to be so technically I bet I bet Suzanne's closer to us than like going driving to Florida <laughs> yeah someplace well we are in the middle we are really in the middle of the US but mm -hmm. yeah so I'm gonna try and bring a little blue over I don't know if I'm gonna like it well that might be okay so really now we're in playing stage yeah I love that I like that you added the blue Blues and purples. Purple, we'll do purple with a crow. Ooh. And blue. We'll probably do, I don't know exactly, but yeah. I, I, like, I tend to stick um, with more expected colors, like blue skies and green grass, um, because I license my art, and people don't. Sometimes you can get away, away with it. Dean Russo does super. Okay, guys, I had to reconnect. Are you there? Am I might have to shoot them an ad again. I can't, it just said reconnect, so I'm assuming we're live again. It I would says, assume so, yeah. It says live. I, just have to, I had to get through an ad. Yep, I see you. Okay, so I'm glad you're there. I would never have noticed that it disconnected. Mm-hmm. That stinks. Wait, I wonder why it did that. Hopefully we're back for everybody. Sorry, guys. We didn't, I didn't realize I, we had disconnected somehow. Um, I have no idea what I was saying, but if I, I don't think I was answering anybody's questions. <laughs> Gravy says, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I have no idea how long that was or how no, bad that I, was. No, I, I think I caught it pretty... Well, because I was watching... My laptop did it first, and then I looked up at your computer, and I was trying to see if your iPad was going to catch up to see if it was just me. Oh, yeah, I can see myself moving out of my um, side vision. But your iPad wasn't catching up, but it had been like a couple of seconds, so I just... I, uh, I, I said something. No, I'm glad. I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to take a drink. Do we, oh, sorry, I just bumped my, my camera. Do we want to be done? Nah, it's too dark over here. <laughs> Let's grab some... Um, yeah, Lori says here. I think we're back. Hopefully okay. people have refreshed. If they need to. Some people might have, they might have come back. So I've got... A, I mean, you could leave it real solid and dark over here. I'm going to come back. Actually, even littler, maybe. Use my corner of my brush. Oh, and then try and be random. That's always the goal. Try Actually, try to fo just follow the rabbit. Um, when, when in doubt, look at your reference photo and just follow the pattern. Mm. Matt says, I don't think 
the color is as, impor as important as the tonal value, getting the shadows and highlights in perspective. Color can also be personal and add interest to an otherwise flat image. Well said. I agree. Do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah. We should, we should shout you out. <laughs> Thank you. That was very well said. Yeah, that was very well said. And Suzanne says Cornwall is 10 minutes from uh, Mass Mas Masena. Mas I'm pronouncing it wrong. M-A-S-E-N-A, -S -E New York. Could be Messina. I don't know. I don't, I've never heard yeah. of it. She might help you out. Yeah, that's like... Um, uh, Chase and I have a friend in Canada, and he's like an hour from the very tippity top of New York, so it's kind of like... Um, but, and we've talked about sending him something, and it's just insane about... You're, he's literally closer to us than if we're even. I can even ship to Hawaii for cheaper. <laughs> that makes no sense. To yeah, me. and that's literally like weaving this entire place. I need Matt says thank you <laughs> with a smiley face. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah, I that appreciate was so good. that. We can. We need all the help. We'll you, we'll take all the help we can get. I have a hard time painting and talking too. I kind of lost my shadow. My do I want it more dramatic? I need to. Under I, his chin? Yeah, I'm also s super on... Oh, here, let's put in a highlight, maybe more highlight. I'm so on top of it that I need to... I'm at the point where I want to step back and go get a tea, you know, mm -hmm. maybe not even look at it for half an hour. That'll help me. I'll come back. Then I always go, like, if I pull out the hair dryer and dry it, I always think of stuff I want to do. So I'm using the corner of my brush and just little... I kind of want a little more juice in my brush. How do I know? Just sometimes I want it, I don't want the dry brush to look and sometimes I do. Um, it really doesn't matter. It's just personal preference. Get some coverage. Um, I really need to step back from it now. That's one thing that happens to me consistently during the lives is like I can't, can't, yeah. can't tell what's going on. That sounds funny. I can tell what's going on, but I just need to step back from it. Some artists will put a mirror behind them and just hold it up so you can see it. Well, you or, can just look to your right and look at your life. Yeah, I can. <laughs> um, it was lag, It was behind and I was yeah. impatient. Um, take a picture of it with your phone. Mm -hmm. So as I said, you could have stopped a while ago. I'm, I'm just playing now. Joy Lynn says it looks great. Thanks. We probably yeah. should do a screenshot here pretty quick. I need somebody to tell me um, in the comments or in the lies if they use those screenshots. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It gives you a look at it. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't do the, technically do a screenshot. So I'm also shortening up his fur a little bit with shorter strokes. So when I said, do I need to make it darker in his chin, you can also make Lighten. it lighter. It might That might actually be the answer. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just kind of have to play and see what you think. Did you have something to say? Or you, cause you were no, just that you were talking about making it darker under the chin, but didn't. And I didn't. did the reverse. Yeah, I, it, sometimes you don't know until you put the paint down. Mm -hmm. You'll see, watch other artists on YouTube, you'll see them put paint down and go, oh, you know. Really just needed to lighten. If you want something to pop out more, um, just increase the contrast, put something darker by it. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of scared to use this because it's really light. Mm -hmm. um, let's maybe just grab some. I kind of want to lighten. Oops. A smaller brush might be easier at this point because I'm trying to get little detail and I'm fighting with it. Lori says she looks at the screenshots. Oh, okay, cool. Let's do one. I don't know if it's going to change much. I'm going to put whiskers on it. Oh, he does need whiskers. Yeah. Cute. Thanks. <laughs> Here's a little filbert. It's kind of a funny shaped filbert. Probably about a quarter inch Royal and Lang nickel. It says a number eight on it. Sometimes they get cut. I didn't cut this one. It came that way. It's just, I don't know if you can see. It's a little, a little wonky, but it can make nice fur. I, I just grabbed it because it was sitting right in front of me.
So now we play with values and detail to your heart's content. I do need to look at it. Is it too, I think it's too dark on the left. Um, while you're in between, are you in between brush things? Yeah. Could you, um, scoot? Hold, no, just hold the painting up one more time and then, oh, did, did. like, slowly bring it down a little bit. You don't need to hold it, like, all the way up. Just to try and get to focus on the painting a little more. There you go. I'm, like, real slow. <laughs> you can do <laughs> it a little faster. Is that annoying? No. I was just saying. Well, the, the part, the, the nice thing is that it autofocuses, and it tends to autofocus really fast, but someone was saying it's a little out of focus. Yeah, I could, I could try. If I, if I would make an effort and put my palette on the right, I could learn not to drop my elbow and hold my shoulder up mm -hmm. so I don't drag my arm through the um, palette. That's fine. Hmm. Gravy says needs a four-leaf clover in its mouth. Oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> that'd be so cute. So here's how you can get lots of little details, is little teeny brush strokes. Um, and if it gets, you know, you want your value a little darker, just come back with a darker color. Oops. I want to get my head in there. Mm, that too. I should have suggested that. Matt said, perfect. YouTube um, had set my screen to 144p, 720 is much better. Ha ha ha. Yeah, sometimes I've, uh, mine will drop. I think it's to help with the, if I keep making sure I'm live, live, like as live as I can be, it'll um, lag for me occasionally and then it drops my quality for some reason. But yeah, to not suck up the internet, I usually stick it like um, 360 or I prefer 480. But yeah, I don't go all the way up to 720 because I, <laughs> you, you need the internet more than I do. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, for the phone, for streaming. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is the um, modem is right in here. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing with values. Yeah, he's cute. Warming it up just a smidge. And I might say right now I'm thinking that's too brush strokey. Um, I really just need to step away from it. I will come back the next day sometimes and work on a painting. Um, oops, don't like that. All right, I should just stop and put some whiskers on him. I kind of want to put little whiskers that go over some of my blocked in area. This brush isn't really doing it for me. I keep dabbing at it. It's really not doing it. It's not me. It's the brush. Oh, I think I like that better. Mm. Gravy says, thank you, ladies, for making COVID quarantine a little bit easier. Take care. Oh, thank you. Thank yes. you for coming. Yeah, thank you for We really out appreciate you. I'm going to grab a little, um, lighten it up right here. Okay, put the whiskers in because we can call, we could call this done. <laughs> I was going to reset my watch to a time, and then I didn't do it. Oh, here, I can just look at the time. Every time you've said, we could call this done. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. So I will play with it sometimes for a whole nother, oh gosh, hour. Alrighty, so I'm going to grab my number one. You could grab a smaller one. Some people use little riggers or real long. Um, let's start on this side. I've got kind of a gray one going here. Oh, shoot, I just saw something I want to do. I'm going to grab some black, and I'm going to reinforce the eyelashes that I kind of lost. And they're really not that long. 
on that side, but I think they're cute. And he's got one like sticking straight out here, but I don't know if I want to put that in there. You can pick and choose. Oh shoot, and something else. See, I don't this I knew this was gonna be too long. I would also come back and put some white ones here. At least a couple. Gosh, they're lining them all up. There. For sure on that one, because you're it'll it'll say my light's coming from over there a little bit more. And then I would a couple little just dots and then you could there's so many things you can do you could say the lights catching a couple of these and then there and just stop and then really and I'm looking at all my highlights. My white has skimmed over. Oh, not bad. I just needed a little, little stirring. Put a little, just one little color. So what makes it look interesting sometimes is just not, like I had a flat color from there to all the way to there and I just stuck a little white in there. And then just emphasize. I don't know if it'll show on video. Kind of brighten that white. Or she can't brighten it much. Soften it. I don't know if that's going to show at all. And then I can come back and soften this and bring it up a little. This is where layers really help you. I think sometimes people stop paintings too soon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over his blush for now because I kind of want to have to come back and put that back in there. I don't know if you guys can tell that's helping or not. Okay, whiskers, whiskers, whiskers. Let's do... Oh, jeez. Jeez. So what I would do, like, I, I don't know, half hour in, would be mist this and shut it, put it in a gallon baggie and let it sort of be like a terrarium for a while. Like I said, I needed to walk away and get a cup of tea because I've been painting this too long. You know, give myself a break. But it also gives my paints a break and they can kind of um, wake up, get more moisture in them, that kind of thing. Okay. So I think this is way too light for a whisker. I'm just adding some water to it. Because if you look at the reference photo, it looks pretty black. Actually, the background's darker in the, in the original photo. But I think what I'm going to do... Whiskers are rarely one color or one value. And I might have too much water. Let's just do this. We'll just, I kind of dried my brush on my paper towel. All right, so I'm going to take one. That wasn't too bad. And then. It's okay if it like I lift it up, but then just you can also just start it again, let it break. You can always wipe them off. Things are pretty dry. It's okay if they're crooked. Cool. Let that dry. Let's take a let's do a gray. And then we'll come back with a darker value and just fill in some of the whisker. I don't know if you can see it on this gray whisker, but it's a little lighter right where it hits the head, a little darker, and it goes a little lighter. That's kind of cute. <laughs> That's kind of cute. <laughs> a little bunny looking at all of you guys. 
So that's like, I know people want to see me paint the eye, but I'm also going like, we need to get this whole rabbit pin and then get to actually maybe the parts that'll help you more, you know, keep painting maybe. Cause I don't like it. I mean, I think I would like even a little bit more going on in some places. Okay. Um, he's got one that comes down. Gosh, my brush looks pretty fat there. Let's grab a little water. Susie says, I love how you have developed this bunny. He is gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are so supportive. I really appreciate that. We have 23 friends. Oh, thanks for coming, friends. I love that. It's been so good for me. Okay, it's skipped, but that's okay. So light touch. You can practice on a piece of paper. I kind of want to, I should have done the ones on this side first. Here, I'm going to turn it upside down. <laughs> and Linda, I, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Linda says, his eyes are already following me. <laughs> yeah. So I turn my reference photo upside down so it doesn't matter that I, I don't have to like go, oh. Because I'm kind of following where some of his whiskers are, or hers. Oh, I kind of have a name in mind, but if you guys have a cute name. Mm, what are we going to name him? Or her. Well, I don't want to say in case somebody has a... Should I say anyway? I was thinking radar. <laughs> radar. <laughs> but, the, but see, it's B for bunny, so... B for bunny. You know. Yeah. Radar's cute. We kind of need some little whiskers here. I kind of forgot the side of the face. You can add detail. Joy Lynn says, um, great therapy for all of us. Love it. Thank you, thank you. And um, and she says, radar, yes. Um, Matt says, I love your painterly interpretation. Thanks. Yeah, I like the, I like where you took his body fur. I, li I lately I've been liking adding more color. Mm-hmm. There, that's pretty cute. Okay, the right should be fairly dry. You can use a hair dryer. I just don't want to blow your ears out. I think we'll go darker. We could go gray. We could go brown. Got a little black to it. It doesn't really matter. The value is more important than the color. And then, oh, my reference photo is upside down. So let's make it Darker maybe here? That's not that dry. I don't know if I just got my hair in the frame. And then, we don't wanna do them all the same. Should make don't this one, line them up. <laughs> make this one darker here. It'll make it look a little more realistic. Mm -hmm. And you can exaggerate it. You don't have to go the value of the photo. Like there's a little, that's cute. So there's a lot more detail we could put in here. Okay, this one's dark. Or, let's, or maybe we'll put in another dark one. It's got, oh, not flowing. I'd pick this, I can't pick this up and do it. I just, I need it steady. Uh, Joy Lynn says, values get me in trouble sometimes. I now keep a value chart on my easel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can be, I think, it definitely takes practice, like, distinguishing, because you're, like, you're mixing it on a white palette. It might be easier if it was gray. Probably. But on a gray palette to then bring it onto a darker, or something that's not white. Yeah. Yeah. It'd probably be easier. They don't make gray styrofoam plates. No, they don't. Um, Cindy says, I really like how his fur turned out. Yeah, I do too. I'm going to put a little black dot here. And um, Michael says, love it. Is is it a rabbit or a hare? It's technically I, a bunny for B. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, it might say... Um, the link to the photo, reference photos in the, this video's description. It's might, also the pinned comment, or the pinned chat. Yeah, it might say I'll see. what it is. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, yeah, do, 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 
All right, I can remember doing whiskers. I'll give get you a screenshot here pretty quick. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think I want it. You either want it darker or lighter. I think lighter was actually the ticket. And I went darker. So let's grab some white. And sometimes you don't know until you just try it. Mm -hmm. I do not. He doesn't refer to it as. Doesn't say. Anything, yeah. I don't know. It looks like the ones in our backyard, but I don't know what those are. I know. Let's go lighter. We could even go, well, I've got the light gray, lighter. I don't know if that's going to show. That's a pretty close value. The black will show more on the video. We'll do the black. Yeah, and the photographer's description, all he has is, I'm sure they're alive all year long, but they're only apparent for a short while. I'm out there during that while just because they're cute. <laughs> That's all he has in the description. Huh. I'm just kind of true. You don't see a bunny in the winter, I guess, because they're hibernating. Cute. Yeah, and my whiskers are messy. That's okay. Yes, his whiskers are probably messy. You could come in, like, I don't know that I'm going to do a ton of this, but you could start putting in, like, little hairs for the hair. I don't know if I like that. It might You might have to start doing it everywhere. Well, you don't want to do it everywhere. You do it everywhere. Emily's not listening to me. Oh, sorry, what? Oh, if oh, if it's everywhere, it's nowhere. nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I'd... You were thinking or reading? Mm hmm I do kind of put this back up here. I lost this. That's cute. What makes this cute? Do we want a little black up there for contrast? Joy Lynn says, ours running on our farm are uh, white tails or cotton tails, lol. Yeah. A little cotton tail. Should we call it done? It looks pretty done. I want to keep going, but I think we'll call it done. I don't like this right here. I think that's going to be too light. That's too dark. It's not quite so black here. In the reference photo, and I kind of like that. So sometimes what makes it look a little more real or believable is that, like, I have black going all the way around the mouth. Kind of soften it so it changes in value. Have value. Ch they call it changing. Oh, what do they call it? I was going to say changing values in the color plane. So, like, if you called the front of this nose a color plane, there's a lot of value changes in it. I don't have a really good example here in this. Bonita says, great video, ladies. Thanks so very much. Thanks for coming. We're going to say goodbye here. I just keep painting. I'm putting a couple little fun whiskers. <laughs> Matt says, if you added detail over the color in terms of gray hair values, I think it would be amazing. Just depends on your goal and if you prefer impression or realism yeah, I'm not sure. and how far you want to take it. Sorry, I read that slow. No, I understood the, f I didn't understand the first part. Um, like I, what, what is he, what is he wanting I would, I, to do? Uh, let's see here. Let me read it again oh. out loud because I didn't, I didn't retain it. I just read. If you added detail over the color in terms of gray hair value. So I think it's oh. treating the color you have as, um, or in, it would just create a more realistic hair. Sure. If you want it. Sure. But he said just depends on whatever goal you Smaller want. Smaller brush strokes, more mm -hmm. detail will make it look more real. Your favorite little Simply Simmons one, number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Smaller brush, more detail, more real. Joylyn says, thank you. Another amazing painting lesson in the books. Love y'all. Be safe. Good night. Night. Good night. Thanks for coming. Thank you for hanging out with us. Great to see you. Suzanne says, awesome evening. Thank you. Yeah, I like this bunny. He I think I'm cute. done. Everybody's going. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, Anne. Anne. Yeah, they're Anne and you. They're not, it's not Annie. It, they're they're doing the, the full 
Anne. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll stop. <laughs> no, you can't. You can do whatever you want. No, it's it's. It's at the point where it's done. It's just whether you want to call it done, I want well, to call it done. And I think people, usually we just kind of like all of a sudden peace out Girl Scout instead of, so I think people are, you know, they see the opportunity that we're winding down and so yeah. they can. Well, and it's been going on for. They can say it and, and we'll actually like, uh, we, we usually read it after the live's off if people say bye and stuff like that. Yeah, but... it's been two hours. It's time to go. Mm -hmm. well, I think, oh, go ahead. Well, just, I'm assuming they said it early just because we, uh. Then I get to read it aloud and see it on stream. Did I need to understand what you just said? I'm not no. sure. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I understood that. Is it okay if I say goodbye? I think everybody's leaving. Yep, living. Matt says brilliant, love it. Thank you. Heart. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, let me know if you give this one a try. The traceable's on my website, AnnieTro.com. I super appreciate all your support. People have been sharing the videos in other groups. That's helping a lot. Um, the comments, the super thanks. I just can't thank you guys enough. Mm -hmm. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>